Hey guys, Bibi chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So we're gonna get into One Piece manga chapter 910 called Onwards to Wano Country and on the cover page we got Tales of the Self-Proclaimed Straw Hat Grand Pirate Fleet Volume 40 Olympus Arc. At 4.30 p.m. because they were extremely poor, we gave them the supplies instead. How nice! Now, I'm very bad at like perceiving countries, kingdoms that we've been to so I don't recognize this place. Since it's a poor country, could it possibly be a country that's not aligned with the world government? I don't know, but that's very nice of Orlumbus, and he's even like crying out. Anyways, we're in Wano. Let's go. Let's see the aftermath of what Zoro has done. <sighs> We're finally back to see Mugiwara no Luffy. New world at sea. The sunny is heading towards... And then I guess they're getting news from the reverie. You see the pelican birds delivering the mail. The reverie, yup, kings around the world are currently gathered at the Mary Marijoa. <laughs> now they have to introduce Luffy's new bounty, Don! Straw Hat Pirates, Captain Straw Hat Luffy, bounty 1.5 billion. <laughs> Goko! Okay, really? Everyone's eyes are on the Ryugu Kingdom this time around since they're attending for the first time in 200 years. Both Neptune and his children are there. The newspaper said that Shirahoshi received the warm welcome at the Red Port. This is a big step forward for their people. So, she finally came up to the surface. The Yoahoshi or Weak Hoshi must be strong now. Also, it looks like your grandfather was the one who escorted them. Oh, I see. Yeah, Luffy's there eating some onigiri. He's got like a huge den den mushi on him. Nami's reading the report. Chopper's fixing the deck. Brook is um, man in the helm. And Sanji over there like, eh, baby chan <laughs> Alright. And he just like, you know, jumps in Nami's arms like you've become an even more beautiful princess are you trying to impress someone could it be me and Lami's like out of the way and you can see the hearts everywhere and oh my god Sanji's positioning is like this <laughs> it's like this Chopper's like oh it's Vivi and Luffy's like Vivi this brings back so many memories I haven't seen her in such a long time and Nami's like, it says here that she was in a socializing plaza. Other members of royalty and their escorts are in the article too. Wait, if Dress Rosa is also attending, Viola, Violet, there she is, Vi Viola Chan, Gah! Waporu's there. And that acorn guy, Rebecca and Sai are there too. There sure are a lot of people we know attending the reverie. And then Sunday's like, <laughs> all these princess that knows me. Are they obsessively talking about me? Ugh. Okay, Sanji, you dog. You just turn back into that. Like, <laughs> I won't say anything bad about Sanji, but a whole cake island arc. Just Sanji is back to being his ridiculous self. Like, even more obnoxious than usual. And in last chapter, we just had an, um, one chapter with Zoro in it, and everyone just fallen in love and <laughs> fanboying over Zoro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Nami's just ignoring him. If they are good for you. And she's like, look here, Chopper. Ah, it's probably Dr. Kureha. Ah, what's the matter, Bropper? Doctorin! Like, with a smile, it's like, I'm 141. And then Sanji comes back. Wow, still alive. And then Chopper's like, ah! <laughs> Sanji, I mean, um, Chopper could do his, like, little dance if he wanted to. On his shirt, it says, Watame. So I think? Isn't that like cotton candy or something? And Chopper's just like, Chucky, 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 Chuck, Chucky, Chucky, Chuck, Chuck. <laughs> and Sanji's like, hey, don't cut the newspaper, Chopper. Oh, they cut out the parts they want. Sanji with all the girls and Chopper with Dr. Kureha. And Nami's like, hey, I haven't even read the other side yet. Now it's full of holes. <laughs> Anyways, huh? This article is about Kaido. So Luffy and them don't know about Kaido and Big Mom rocks. I'm not sure if Whitebeard is in Rocks, because like some people were like saying that. So possibility that Whitebeard is in Rocks. But anyways, what did Big Mom do? I can't read it. Sanji Kun Chopper, give me back those pieces. Don't want it. Uh -huh. Give them back. We want to know. All right. <laughs> so, Luffy's just like he 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 he. I'm glad they're all doing well. Let's visit them once we sail around the world. You betcha.
Brooke's like, that's right. Everyone is doing well indeed. By the way, Luffy-san, have you tried calling them with the transponder snail again? Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Oi, this is Luffy. Anybody there? <sighs> Nobody's responding. Whatever, let's just keep going. Silence. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just saw something crazy. Ooh, Nami looks nice in her new outfit, her little black dress. And it's just... We all definitely wanted to keep going, but we're in a sea with waves that I can only describe as Wano, Wano-esque. I've never seen anything like it before. I can't help but have a bad feeling about it. As we've gotten closer, the wind has gotten stronger and the waves have been growing in size too. So they are getting into Wano territories, as she just stated. Brooks looks nervous, like Nami's ready to face the danger. This is her duty as a navigator. And is there some kind of squid next to them? And yeah, they're about to go into some like raging waters. By the way, these clouds are swirling. These don't seem like normal wind conditions either. In addition to the unusual waves. Look, there's some awful weather over there too. We should avoid that storm. Shall we wait until it's over? Hey, what are you saying, Brooke? Let's go to Wano already. Luffy-san, why don't, why do you always try to lead our crew into obvious dangers? Yeah. And there's like a lot of bonsai trees on the side, like that's native to Wano. I'm not sure, but someone said possibly Wano is connected to uh, some other country. Anyways, uh, but hey, Brooke, hmm? Yeah, there's like a, there's like a huge octopus squid. It's like when they use the, well, it's different, but you know, remember the uh, octopus that they used to fly down on Skypea with? Anyways, the truth is, Kinemon warned us about this. Okay, probably told him to catch this octopus, or is this octopus part of our nakamas? Okay, Kinemon's like, there is a bend. Well, I'll explain it using this snail when you get there. But yeah, obviously they're close. That's why like Luffy can call with the snail. I, that's what he means by snail, right? Because when I thought when he said snail, I thought octopus. But I was like, wait, then then Mushi snail, right? It's one of Wano's barriers of entry. The country. The country is always surrounded by terrible weather. Furthermore, the waves are rough and the currents move very rapidly. Huh? The weather is always terrible? I mean, like, when we saw it, it was, like, beautiful, as absolutely breathtaking. But, you know, this, to get there, to get a paradise, you gotta go through hell. Huh? The weather's always terrible? On top of the samurai being powerful, it's also difficult to even enter the country. That must be why they're closed off from the rest of the world. Wait, I forgot to read the from the previous page. Beben. All right, so the octopus makes like a boom sound. Y yo, a sound made, oh, you know, when like Jiraiya or what's that guy's name in CP, that was in the CP9 who does the yo, you know that sound, yo. A sound made in Kabuki plays often preceded by or following it with the drum-like sound called suzumi, which makes a pon sound. Oh, I get it. Yo, boom. Sorry, but Nami's like, what the hell? <laughs> Seriously, the expressions Nami has made since Whole Cake Island, I love them. <laughs> They're just, like, it just looks like it's not something she would do. It's like, you would, I mean, Nami is one exception, but you will never see Robin make one of those gag comedic faces like everyone else would be like oh and then robin will be the only one just like <laughs> you know stone face but anyways they're heading in waves are moving yeah what is this thing bubble bubble it's an octopus yo boom 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 when did it get on board oh they don't know about it boom 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 huh wait maybe by the octopus the octopus squid making the sound pu -pu -pu, like a school of fish is help carrying them past the waves like these are huge like these carp fishes are as big as the sunny and they're just like on the side of us just like helping us go get in the country right is that what this octopus squid is for huh why are there carp in the ocean aren't these freshwater fish how are they alive why are you questioning that right now? These carp are monstrous. Hey Sanji, do carp taste good? Uh-uh. I mean, you ever watched that Pokemon episode where James tried to eat magic carp? Mm-mm. Yeah, if you soak them in water and cut them up, you can make delicious sashimi. You can cook them with miso. You can make braised carp stew. I, I'm so stupid. Sanji can make anything taste good. What did I just say? 
and Luffy is just like, we can make tempura or cook it in a sauce. All right, we'll cook one of these guys for our reunion party with Zoro and the others. It's like, stop it, Luffy. Like, I don't want to see what kind of trouble Zoro's in right now. Like, Zoro, oh my gosh, he's walked right into trouble. Wow, don't resist. Of course he's trying to resist. Luffy, like, Luffy? I... Like, and he never gets scared of water. I'm always scared he's going to start drowning. Of course, there's always someone to save him, but man, he is brave. Luffy, why are you always like this? Um, don't worry, Nami-san, he'll be fine. More importantly, we need to protect the ship. All right, so I thought that the fish were helping us out, not necessarily. But anyways, that uh, octopus continues making the yo sound what the hell is up with the octopus so i don't know if they actually brought the octopus or it just like appeared on their ship or maybe like it was sent by king emon like what's with this octopus and yeah like i mean they're in the ocean salt water and carps are freshwater fish not supposed to be here so i mean i can tell they're from wano because carp is one of the fishes from like japan so they're like bouncing around through the waves like another green room like you ever see those like uh japanese arts with the wave like that's what it looks like it's just the japanese style of like drawings and it's like the wave is too strong like this is they're in a tsunami carrot furls the sails okay all right and look at how clear this water is it's just like the water in rivers that flow down the mountain i don't need to look at it those huge fish in the water are too scary then are we in a river right now yeah like Somehow they've been taken to like a different place. Like, like, look at this drawing. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Like the wave is just like, I wonder if it's like a different color. Because, you know, ocean is like a blue green color kind of. But like this looks like it could be like a different color. Wow. Yeah. And then like it made like a little path down here. Sandy's like, where are these carp headed? Hold on tight, we're being swept away. Is Luffy on board? Ah, oh, what is that? No, we can't follow the carp anymore. Dead end? <gasps> it's like an uphill waterfall. Like, they're, oh, you know, salmon, I'm not sure about carp, but I know salmon for sure can like jump six feet in the air, like on waterfalls. I know that. They're climbing the waterfall. Why? It's up there, right? There's no way our sail ship can climb that. We'll end up sunk at the bottom of the waterfall. A waterfall while going downstream? What kind of water flow is this? And Ami's like, that's right. Since this is fresh water, there must be a huge water reservoir at the top of this waterfall. Don't tell me. Is the Wano country up there? Luffy? Whew, those carp sure are strong. So Luffy held on tight to that one carp and he probably reached the top. And he's like, Luffy, the ship is going to sink. All right, leave it to me. Hold on tight. And Luffy grabs onto the... Carps, no way. I'm trusting you, Carps. All right, done. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I see the hills. The octopus is so excited. It's still going boom, 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 yo. And everyone's screaming and using the carp to climb up. Like, this looks like one of those ancient Asian, like, story tales. Like, over, like, mountains and, like, rivers and these bonsai trees like there's like a hidden village like we're climbing the waterfall splash luckily they didn't hit any rocks in the middle oh no there's a counter current it's a whirlpool and then nothing like i think they got like swept into the whirlpool like luffy's like uh they're underwater like you could see luffy submerged underwater and then after that they're just like swept to the tides the tides has just like swept them to the land and it's just biben. There's a lot of biben and don that I noticed. Whoa, look at these trees. These trees look like fans. I'm loving the art. And I mean the 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 hills in the background kind of reminds me of Toteland, but overall very gorgeous. Yeah. There's a crab, Kemi bites or Clamps onto Luffy's nose. Bleh. Ow, ow, ow. Hmm? Am I in the Wano country? Where did everyone else go? Hmm, what happened to us? I think that the octopus was sent by Kiemon. Like, why would the octopus just randomly appear? And, like, if Wano is so hard to get into, like, 
no octopus is just gonna appear and help us like obviously you can grab onto a cart and try to like go but it was just so lucky i feel like kiemon sent someone sent the octopus so then the octopus can do the yo and the popo po to call out the carps kyo kyo hey 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 so a lot of like banging is happening dokan kya kami gami like what's happening to the ship is something hitting it oh it's a uh, are these called onis like ah uh, it's like some kind of like um you know in the traditional like japanese folklore uh like one of the japanese mythical beasts yeah don't you d okay so this thing is damaging our ship okay hey you don't damage my ship kyo, kyo. that's a huge dog are these animals fighting is that really a dog or a pig it's the inoshikacho no Snap, crack, snap. Another really huge animal appeared. Woof, woof. It, so it, it is. It's a. So it is a dog. And then out comes a babo a baboon with a sword. Could this be related to those monkeys on uh you know on Mihawk's island where they're like fighting monkeys who can copy your fighting your sword style? But anyways, that's a huge ass baboon. Those monkeys on uh you know on Mihawk's island where. They're like fighting monkeys who can copy your fighting, your sword style. But anyways, that's a huge ass baboon. Like, okay, so maybe they're like mortal enemies. Like, I don't know any like backstory beside in like Japanese folklore. So I don't know if this is like, you know, King Kong versus T-Rex kind of thing. Or like a mongoose versus a uh, rattlesnake kind of thing. Like where they're just like mortal enemies. But yeah, it has a huge sword and it's ready to fight the dog. Like, I don't know if it's ready to fight Luffy or if it's ready to fight whatnot. But I don't know if they were both attacking our ship. But we just know that the dog was attacking our ship. And then Luffy's like, stop. And then this monkey appeared. Because it looks like it's, is it barking at us? Is it barking at the baboon? Did we invade their land? Yeah, but knowing Luffy, he's going to bef befriend these two creatures. And you know, I want to do. I want Luffy to use his hockey and be like, "Down, boy!" And then they like start being friends with him, just like how all animals do. Gerururu. So wolf, wolf, key. It's holding a sword, as I thought. This must be Wano Country. Hmm. Even though it's nice to see Luffy and them, it hasn't been like that long since we've seen them. Probably like seven chapters since we haven't seen Luffy. So it, it's not like. We haven't seen him for so long, but it was nice seeing him again. And it's just usual. We see everyone's little quirks and attitudes. Sanji, like, they're talking about the reverie, how everyone's there. Shira Hoshi, Neptune, like, they haven't been there 200 years. Chopper gets to see Dr. Kureha. Like, they see everyone there, like, Sai, Dress Rosa, Viola, Shira Hoshi, Vivi. Just the main part is we are going, we're going into the Wano country, but we have no idea how since, like, there's a huge weather, mountains nearby, like how the hell are we gonna go in? And then this mysterious octopus appears, which, like I said, I think Kinemon sent, because why would an octopus just come here and have the carp lead us to like the location? It's supposed to be very hard to get in. So yeah, all we have to do is grab onto the carts and then pull us up. And then after we go through like this whirlpool, we like land on the side and then we come across these two mysterious creatures like traditional Japanese dog and baboon so do you think Kiemon sent the octopus like they don't really know what to do about the octopus it just starts making noises do you think why do you think the dog and baboon are fighting are they fighting together against us are they fighting each other are, are they doing something we don't get to see everyone else's reactions but hopefully they're still on board because we I mean, the ship is on its side, and we were previously just on top of the ship, so blown far away to different parts of the island. Yeah, that's pretty much it about this chapter. How do you feel about seeing everyone again? And uh, yeah, just tell me your thoughts and comments. Thoughts, comments, questions, and I'll be sure to read them in the comments down below. So see you guys for next reaction. Peace out.